And I actually uh, have a pretty quick and easy Moxie Monday for you guys today. Something that um, Carrie and I just found out uh, last week, actually. Um, but it's actually a pretty important one. Uh, so I wanted to make sure we want to make sure that we shared it with you guys. So um, since the Moxie transition, um, as you guys have probably known, uh, we've had a little bit less um, autonomy or a little bit less editability within Moxie to kind of go in and change things as much as we used to be able to. One of those things is that we haven't been able to as much lately. I haven't been able to um, edit like contact information and name information and stuff because a lot of that stuff feeds directly from account tech and dash and one of the most common examples of that stuff being uneditable has been names uh, specifically names like myself jd obviously those are my initials uh, jd is not my legal name uh, but because of the way things are entered in account tech and in dash uh, my legal name is what feeds through a lot of the time so if your name is elizabeth but you go by liz and all of a sudden, all of your stuff on Moxie or all of your stuff in the back end or on your website reads like Elizabeth, even if you want it to be Liz. So what Carrie and I found out from our Moxie account rep is that there's actually a way that you can change it all over to be what you want it to be so that everything goes by. That's a loud truck rep by um, so that it goes by the name that you want it to be. So um, there's kind of two parts to this and there's a staff part that. Um, uh, is going to be needed by your uh, ASC that Carrie can uh, will, uh, in, a, in a different staff training will kind of go more in depth on but it's basically there's an option uh, in Moxie for you to toggle on a nickname and what that's going to do is it's going to change your nickname within the account but should also feed through over to all of the Moxie tools meaning website engage present etc so the, there's two parts to it. The first part is going to be um, important for our ASCs and our staff to do. So um, you guys know if you uh, staff of you guys are on here, you know me that Dash and Account Tech are not my um, strong suit. But uh, Carrie and I were looking at the screen earlier, and um, it's it's pretty straightforward. But basically, if you're in an agent's profile in Dash, there is a area, there is a box in an agent's profile for a nickname. So just using Elizabeth and Liz as an easy example, if you go into their Dash profile, it should say Elizabeth Smith, and there should be a section for nickname where you can put Liz, Lizzie, whatever the nickname that they go by as you can put that in there and then save the profile. Now, like all things uh, technology, we like to say, give it 24 hours, give something 24 hours to feed so that um, it's not going to always be immediate. Oftentimes, I'd say, especially with things like that, the majority of the time, it is a lot quicker than that, but you never know. So I always like to, we always like to play it safe. So the first part of it is uh, making sure that you ask, uh, or that one is that it's updated within Dash. So if you are an agent who, so I'm just seeing, I'm just going to call out Robert John Murphy because I see your name on here. Robert, if you go by Bob and you're like, nobody calls me Robert, only my dad calls me Robert, only my mom calls me Robert when I'm in trouble. Uh, and you want things to be reflected by Bob, the first thing you have to do as an agent is ask your ASC or ask your staff, your admin staff to say, hey, can you please go into Dash and add my nick, add blank as my nickname, whatever you want that to be. Um, yeah, okay, so let, let us know, Michelle, because we talked with Moxie about this for quite a while the other day, and they and this is what, these were the, we had like some pretty specific steps they gave. So if that doesn't feed, especially after a day or two, give us that example specifically because she tried it with Jeff Scomp, Carrie did, and it worked perfectly. So we have, we know that it does work. So if it doesn't work, it might be a specific, um, a specific glitch. Um, so step one is asking your stat, your ASC to add your nickname into Dash. Step two, once it's been done, once it, you've given it a day or two, or a day or two, is to go into Moxie. So as you can see here, um, I'm in a Cobalt Banker profile, but I've simply, I've gone into Desk. I've clicked on the Moxie Works tile. And from here, I am going in my profile and I don't even need to go to any other tool. All I need to do from this screen right here is click on my little pencil, my editing pencil right here. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. It's on the right-hand side. So you've got my profile picture, my name. I scroll over to the right. There's my pencil. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna zoom out here. And it's right here. It should, if you don't click anything else, it should default to the personal info tab. Thankfully, that is exactly where you want to be. <clears throat> and if I zoom in a little bit here, right down here, it says first name, last name, and then it says nickname display setting. 
And right now it just says select the format. So what you can do is you can click on that and it's gonna give you three options. Uh, the first one is going to be first name, nickname in the middle, Waldvogel. So it could be, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, Elizabeth Lizzie Smith. The second one is it's going to be what it is now, first, last. And then the third one, probably the one, if you have a nickname that is that you're going to be looking for, is it's going to replace your legal first name with your nickname. So instead of Elizabeth Smith, it would say Lizzie Smith. So you would select that and click save. And that's it. That's really as simple as it is. Now, if you don't choose anything, it just stays on selected format. Obviously, it probably goes without saying it's going to stay exactly as it is. It's going to stay on the on the um, on the normal first name, last name setting. So, um, like I said, guys, that really is as quick as it is. But this is something that we weren't aware of until a couple of days ago. So we wanted to make sure that you guys knew how to do it because this is one of the things we heard a lot about. Um, and understandably so. Again, like as somebody who goes by a different name than their legal name we want to make sure that you're represented and, and marketed in the way that you want to be in the way that you uh, communicate yourself and are seen by everybody. So just super quickly, I want to go through it one more time, just so that you know, step one is making sure that you ask your ASC or your support staff to um, add your nickname, whatever you want that to be, add that to dash. Uh, staff, if you guys are on and you have any questions about that, please reach out to Carrie. Of course, she can show you where on the screen or on the profile in Dash, you can do that. But step one is making sure that it is added to that area in Dash. Step two, once you've given it a day or two to update, as an agent, you go into your Moxie profile right here into the roster account screen. You don't even click into any other tool. And once it's up, you just simply go over to the little editing pencil, click on that, wait for that to pop up here. And right down here, you scroll down just a little bit under personal info first name, last name, and then it says nickname display setting. And from here, you can choose between three different options. One of them, of course, being the way it is normally, first name and last name. One of them is putting it in the middle. And then one of them is replacing your first name. So either uh, Elizabeth Lizzie Waldvogel or Smith, or just Lizzie Smith. And you choose that, click save, and it should start updating across the board. Let me check in the chat here. You're welcome. See, Mike, again, perfect example. Uh, assuming it's Michael, Michael, Mike, perfect example of that too. So um, any other questions on this? Again, um, if it doesn't work after a, a, a day or so, please, uh, whenever, and this goes um, kind of across the board, but if you ever are having issues with Moxie or any sort of support thing, starting with a screenshot, starting with a photo, whether you're reaching out to myself or Carrie or anybody on your Moxie support team, or if you're reaching out to Moxie directly with a ticket, starting with a screenshot is going to be huge because that's, if you don't, that's the first thing they're going to ask. They say, can you send us a screenshot of what's going wrong? That really cuts out a step in between uh, that could potentially prolong the issue. So if you can start with a screenshot, you're going to just streamline the process. But any questions on this process?